Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to introduce the QuantMod package. The QuantMod package is a package for the retrieval of financial market data in R. Well, it is not only meant for the retrieval of data, there's a lot of functionality to, um, for, for the application to financial data, mainly used for trading purposes. I doubt that everything in there is really good for scientific reasons. Nevertheless, it is a wonderful package to retrieve uh, stock market data or FX data or whatsoever in R. So for this video, I plan the following. First of all, I would like to introduce to the QuantMod package and show how to install it. Then I would like to go to the central or main command, which is the get symbol um, command to get to retrieve the data. Then I would like to show how to get the data and put it into a local environment and not into the global one, which is a lot more handy to do. Then I would like to show some commands for handling the data in the environment. And last but not least, I would like to show how to extract XTS objects from the environment, which helps me in my workflow a lot. I switch to our studio and then we start. All right, here we are in our studio. And the first thing we do is to open up a new script window. And of course we need to do something like a headline, Okay, there's our headline QuantMod package. And of course, the first that we need to do is to load the, the library to load the package QuantMod. All right, so we apply the library command to QuantMod, but those of you who have never used QuantMod before probably now might get an error. If you get an error, it is very likely that the QuantMod package is not installed on your computer. So make sure that you have an internet connection and apply the install.packages command with brackets and a high comma. This might take a few minutes, of course. I won't repeat it because the library is already installed on my computer. I put it into um, a comment line here, if not yet done, install packages quantmod. Since I sh often share my, my code with others, um, we can simply take out this command by pressing enter. We can use it and we can put it back into the command line. Okay, since the quantum QuantMod package is now loaded, I can introduce into the get symbols command. Get, and now with a capital S, symbols. Get symbols. All right. And since it is called get symbols, the first thing we have to hand over are the symbols. So the ticker symbols um, that we want to download. I have four of them. I have planned to download four of them. So we need to hand over a vector. And how do we do a vector? With the C. The C stands for combine and it combines several items to a vector. And those items are of course symbols. So high comma. And the first one is uh, GSPC, which is the um, Standard & Poor's 500 Stock Market Index. So don't forget the hat, GSPC, and that's the ticker symbol for S&P 500. The next one is Apple, AAPL, then Intel Company, oops, and Microsoft. So these are the symbols combined to a vector of symbols.
Okay, the second thing we have to hand over is the source, where to get the data. There are several sources available. I would like to use Yahoo. Then we need to hand over the start date and the end date of the data we would like to collect. So from, and it is not necessary, but a bit better to use the as date command here, because then R exactly knows that this is a date. 2017, 1st of January, fine. And of course from, then we had to have to hand over to, to, Let's say 2020, 6th of June. And we apply the periodicity here, the periodicity parameter, and we put it, set it on daily, which means daily data. If we now run this command, we will get four new entrances in our global environment that are XTS objects. XTS stands for Extended Time Series. And, well, we can have a look at it, or probably we can just print it, and there it is. Let's have a look at that. Obviously, it's a lot longer, so here we're... 696 rows omitted, but let's take a look how it is composed. So, of course, we have the date. And as we see, we have the 3rd of January 2017 first, um, because on the 1st of January there is no trade. Then we have the open price, we have the high price, we have the low price, and we have the close price. Those words together, OHLC, is an abbreviation that you will see many, many times if you handle the quant mod package here. But additionally, you will get the volume, the trading volume of that day, and you will get some adjusted closing price. The adjusted closing price is the closing price, but adjusted for dividends, for stocks, bullets, and things like that. So, for science reasons, or for any other reasons too, you typically use the adjusted stock price, if you use time series. If you're just interested in yesterday's closing price, well, you won't need it. But um, if you're interested in time series, apply the adjusted one and not the close. Okay, what are the sources we can retrieve data from? So there are many, many sources available, but I would like to introduce four of them. So the first source we already know, it's Yahoo. The second source is Google. So third source is Oanda and FRED. So what is FRED? FRED is interesting. FRED is the Federal Reserve. Federal Reserve Economic Data. And if you want to have further, uh, further information on the data available there, HTTPS column double slash um, Fred dot Saint Louis Fed dot org. So HTTPS column double slash Fred dot Saint Louis Fed dot org. There you will find further information on that data. Well, that's nice, but of course, here we only had a vector of four 
uh, ticker symbols. And we already have four XTS objects here. If you want to handle large uh, numbers of, of tickers, large numbers of shares, um, you will get into trouble because your global environment will be full, will be crowded of XTS objects. And it's really, really hard to handle. So let's get rid of that. And let's use a local environment. How do we do that? We define an environment, let's call it stock, as new environment, and we run this command. And now we have an empty environment here. We can double click it and we see it's completely empty. This environment is just a collection of data types. So you can put everything in there, just like variables, vectors, TS objects, data frames, XTS objects, whatever you like, you can put into that environment. And this environment is a sub environment of your global environment. That's why it's in here. We now can apply the same command, but additionally, we define the environment he should put or store the data into and run this one. If we now double click on our new environment, we see that Apple, the stock, uh, um, stock market index, Intel and Microsoft are all stored in this environment. Of course, now the question is, how do we get the data out of it again? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, of course, we can write environment stock, apply the dollar sign and grab the data from Apple out. And there's the Apple data again. We can also apply double dollar sign. So environment stock dollar, first dollar, Apple, second dollar, Apple adjusted. And then we only get the adjusted stock price. Oh, it's very long here. But there are more comfortable commands on that. So, for example, the CL command with a capital C, so this is a capital C and a lowercase l, CL, environment stock, dollar, apple, and this will get the closing prices. Or the add command with the same, will get the adjusted closing prices. So what commands are available here? We can have a look. With question marks, we access the uh, documentation and we simply take one of those commands like the add command, run it, and we end up in our help documentation. And here we find all the commands that can be applied to those environments. Open, high, low, close, volume, and adjusted. The serious high, serious low. Um, then there are some differences like um, open to close, 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 and so on. And further commands are available here. I would like to show that there's also a plot command on that. I can take out one of them. And here's the plot. And as you might notice, this plot is, looks already different towards what we would expect from a standard plot. Because QuantMod package um, changes the settings for the standard plot if you put an XTS time series in there. So beautiful plot for stock prices. Last but not least, I would show how to grab a whole lot of data. So for example, 
all the adjusted clothes out of the environment and put them into one XTS object. So, why is this important? Because I often use in my research workflow um, all the adjusted closes, and I'm not very interested in opening prices. So, I make one XTS object. I call, call it adjusted. And, well, I first write it down, then, then I'm going to explain it. Do call merge e apply the environment stock and the command add. I run this and I get an XTS object um, containing, I, I just double click it, right? Uh, containing all the adjusted prices for Apple, GSPC, Microsoft, and Intel Corporation. And they're all ordered, so it's it's beautiful. It's, it's a sensation for my research workflow. How does that command work? Well, let's start with eApply. What does eApply do? eApply um, applies one command to each and every entry of the environment. So in our environment, there are four entries, all four stock tickers, and eApply applies the add, so adjusted close, extract the adjusted close, to all four of them. Of course, eApply needs to know which environment and which command, and this command will be applied to each and every entry. So it extracts the adjusted close from each and every object in the environment. Of course, that would end up in four time series, four XTS objects. So if we just apply, if we just use this command, we would have four objects, but we want to have one of them. So we have to merge those objects. And to do that, we use the do call command, which applies the merge to all four coming out of this one. So it merges those four XTS objects into one. And that is done here. And that gives me this beautiful XTS object. Can I print that one, by the way? Nice, isn't it? So, thank you for listening to this video. See you in the next video.